Now the minute a manufacturer mentions the word forged, then I am all in. And it isn't very often we hear the word forged in wedges, which I find really odd. As we all know, the word associated with forged is usually feel, and it's the short end of the bag that feel becomes a thing. So the question is, why are so few wedges actually forged? And we'll address that later on in the video. Those forged wedges today come from PXG. They are the new 0311 triple forged wedges made from a super soft 8620 carbon steel. As you can see, they're stripped back and minimal in design and they carry the new PXG logo. The chrome top line is once again cleverly cambered to provide a sleek look at a dress. And the soles have been designed with one thing in mind and that's playability. And I can confirm that they are very playable indeed and very versatile but perhaps not as many bounce options as many of you might like to choose from. Now, before we go any further, we're just gonna pop out to the golf course and get some immediate feedback and reaction to how I'm finding them out there at Hollywell Golf Club. Yeah, so feedback from on the course, you've seen a number of shots being hit. I've tried pretty much, what I do when I bring a club out is I put it through kind of all the kind of scenarios that I think I might find myself out here on the golf course and that's exactly what we've done. So we've played a few uh, sort of full shots, but pretty much with wedges in and around the green and uh, different style of shots with each club. I bought out a 54 and a 58 and uh, the interesting thing for me, and I pointed out in a video of uh, a wedge video from another manufacturer just a few days ago, is that you'll see a scenario that we've set up here and I've managed to play exactly the same shot type with both wedges. So that being one way you open a club up with the 54 and get that a little bit higher, and you can still hit that sort of low chasey one, and then switching into the 58, closing the face a little bit to hit the little uh, chip and run one, and uh, playing the sort of natural swing and using the loft to hit the higher chip shot, if that makes sense. So what I'm saying is that yet again, I've found that there is no way I would ever carry a 54 and a 58 in my bag, because effectively both clubs can do exactly the same thing. And that to me is a waste of a club. But in terms of the performance of the PXG irons, I'll just reiterate what I said just about the feel and sound is really, really soft and uh, good. I would probably again, like to see personally, just a change in the, um, in the bounce options, because I would probably choose something a little bit different than what I'm actually playing today. But overall, been really impressed with uh, how they've performed out here on the fairway. Usual things, brand new grooves, plenty of spin and check, plenty of control, and some really good feel. So pretty happy with performance out there. And as you can see, they have, like many, adopted those full face grooves, which when you think about it logically, if it meets legal requirements, then why wouldn't you? There is no negative to having full face grooves in my opinion. And obviously when called upon, whether that be a, if you face with a lob shot or perhaps a bunker shot, they must provide greater control. It just makes obvious sense. The position of the weight in terms of means that the CG is moved slightly close to the toe area. And as you can see from my club face, uh, it certainly rings true into where my strike location was. These wedges are good in chrome, but oh my God, the extreme black is just eye-wateringly good in my opinion, and they'd be certainly my choice of finish. But in terms of my playing out there on the fairways, there were two things that stood out for me. Number one was just how good these things look in the bag. Now, whilst that doesn't aid performance, they really were good to look down on. And number two is just how good they feel. They are super soft and provide great feedback into their hands, which is surely what is wanted on the short game shots. And whilst it's apparent in the full shots, it becomes more noticeable around the greens for anything that required a little finesse. 
So let's go back to my first deliberation, which was why don't we see more forged wedges? Because let's be honest, there's not many manufacturers that are putting them out there right now. It makes no sense whatsoever, and I can only assume it has to do with the potential shorter lifespan and quicker deterioration of grooves with that softer material. I'm not sure what the reasoning, but I for one would prefer my wedges to be forged by choice. And if you know or have a better idea, then please let me know. Feel free to post the comments down below. These wedges are retail at 150 a club in the UK. And once again, you get that 60 day money back guarantee from PXG, which I think is a real big selling point in my eyes. Quite simply, more wedges to choose from. Good luck making the right decision. But if Forge is your thing, then these join a fairly small group um, of options that are available in super soft carbon steel. That's my video review done. Once again, something from our new backdrop, our new indoor facility. I hope you've enjoyed what we've relayed. It's short, it's sweet, it's very much to the point, and I hope you've enjoyed this style of review. But please let me know in the comment section both what you thought of these new PXT 0311 wedges and also of our evaluation of them. Right, that's me done. Thanks as ever for watching, and I'll see you all soon.